How you doing? I'm Why good. did you bring the alcohol? Uh, oh, look at this. You know what? I... Is this for me or are these both for you? Uh, no, they're both for me. Should no, we I'll drink some one. of this? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Go ahead. I'll let you pour it. What okay, the heck? That's fine. What's going on here? Are we celebrating something? Oh, you know what I thought is I, I get nervous before I come and, and do these shows. Do you? I, I'm I get very nervous. At that. I think a lot of people do. They just hide it well. I see. Okay, I got so, you. What I thought was a friend of mine, Scotty Sayers. Okay. He sent me a he sent me a link to a uh, a, a shot from the Tonight Show. Okay. Which had Joey Bishop uh, speaking, and all of a sudden Dean Martin and and uh, and Frank Sinatra came out on the and Dean's smoking his cigarette, and Frank's got a cocktail in his hand. I thought, well, that's sort of nice. I mean, they get to sit and have a cocktail and yeah. speak with each other. And, but then the added benefit, I think, that I I had not really thought about until a few minutes ago, I had a chance at one time to have a drink with. Peter O'Toole, which oh. was unbeknownst to me. It just happened. Well, how did young. it happen? Where were you? I was in Texas doing a film when oh. I was a young kid. And I loved Peter O'Toole ever since uh, Lawrence of Arabia, and The Ruling Class, if you know that, and a, a few other few other things. We have connections to his, to Ann Coates, the editor of Lawrence of Arabia. OK. All, all these different things. Uh -huh. But nonetheless, I got to have a, a scotch with Peter O'Toole. And so now, I get to have a scotch with Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, how about that? Well, and I get to have a scotch. I think you're headed in a, it's a downward trajectory, but uh, oh, that's a win salute. Win. Well, oh, that's, yeah, you're right. This that's is a good right. thing. I should do this with everyone that I, comes on the show. I, I bet you're going to have a lot more people <laughs> suggesting it. How are you doing? How's your life going? The last time you were here, you, you know, told me you had uh, a wait bunch a second. of... second. Yeah, what? Oh. You know how I know I need this? Why? There's a rabbit standing over there. <laughs> how are you? Yeah, I see you. You guys been He's... following me for the last week, I'm telling you. I don't know if you noticed, but when you pour just the two of us drinks, a single tear rolled down his face. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we'll get you. Uh, after the show. <laughs> but um, you were, uh, you had, the last time you were here, we were talking about you had these five miniature donkeys, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Still have five? I still have five. What are their names again? Oh, you got uh, Big Daddy, Big uh -huh. Daddy Doyle. You got uh, Carlos the Drug Dealer. Um, <laughs> White donkey number two. Uh huh. Uh, you've got Shea Shaw, and there's Red. And they're and they're all doing great. They're all doing excellent. Do you yes. have a donkey handler, or do you actually handle the? No, donkey I stuff? handle all the donkey. You work. do. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, before we flew out here, I woke up at about four in the morning thinking about my oh, my clothes. I got a pack. I got, and I headed out to the barn with a hot cup of coffee. And by about five thirty, I realized, I was mucking. And I thought. What other guy in the world gets to go and muck his, muck his donkeys at 5.30 in the morning <laughs> and the next day go to the premiere of his movie at the Chinese theater? Oh, yeah, and, right. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> Not yeah. too many. No, it's probably just you. It's probably just me. Yeah. I'm that guy. I, I haven't met many donkey muckers uh, here. You got one How now? was the premiere? Did it go well? Oh, boy, it's I feel great. like I haven't let you have a drink. You go no. ha have a drink, mm. and then you can tell us how this the premiere was. Story. Okay, good. <laughs> just like Peter O'Toole. Oh, isn't that good? I mean, it's just, you feel like you're at the nice, comfortable it place is really good. conversation. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm going to lay down. Go ahead. <laughs> um, the, uh, so, look, you know, when I was 1989, January 15th, I had the opportunity to come to Los Angeles, and uh, a buddy and I dropped out of college to do it. And wow. I was with the ABC program at that time that got me a first-class ticket, my buddy Trent Bross and I split the ticket in half, flew out in the back of the Eastern Airlines flight where we could still smoke a Marlboro Red on the way out. <laughs> we land in Los Angeles over at Century City Hotel. I think uh, President Reagan had been there the night before. Wow. That next morning, we walk out, we get in the car to go do whatever, and uh, I think to go to Entertainment Tonight to be presented because this program represented like 10 people a year. I was in the last year of this program. And who's walking down the street? The first celebrity that I get to see in Los Angeles, Milton Berle, with cigar. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. That's a good... Did you talk to Milton? No, he's walking across the street. Oh, yeah. We almost <laughs> ran him over. But, um, <laughs> the next thing we got to do is... Is that why you bought donkeys? No, mm, I don't get that. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand that joke. Uh, um... <laughs> That one's on you. Uh, but the other thing was that um, early on, you know, you get to go see the, over at the, the Chinese theater, and you see all these films from the past, and you see all these wonderful actors getting out from the, from the golden age. Yeah, you know? the handprints of all the different and stars. The, oh, the, all, it's, it's a dream. You get there as a young kid, you know, and you want to be an actor so bad. And 
So last night, I get to go to a premiere, and where is it held? At the Chinese theater. Where you went when you and, just came here. And it's yeah. a great movie. It's game night. It's, it is a very funny movie, yeah. The, and you're very funny in it. Is this uh, your first comedy, right? It's the first comedy, f dedicated film of comedy that I've ever been in. It's, a, it's kind and, of amazing. I'm surprised by that. You saw Jason Bateman. And, Jason uh, Bateman is great. and it Rachel McKay, they're wonderful in it. And he is so much fun to watch. Uh, is he perform? It was like an acting class. He owns what he does. He's so wonderful in it. He is it's a great movie. He's pretty much exactly like his character in the movie. Would I, you agree with that? I can't tell you because most of the time when we'd speak, it would be, "What do you want in your coffee?" And I'd go get it for him. But yeah. probably, I don't know. <laughs> it's very Jason, nice fellow. Does Jason command that kind of respect on the set? I wasn't aware of that. Well, I mean, he yells at you. you know what <laughs> he does. Do. Is he a taskmaster? Well, wow, these are oh, things yeah. that I've never, a side I've never oh, seen yeah. of yeah, Jason. Yeah, he had us all right. <laughs> no, but it, it's it's a really wonderful film. I I, I agree I'm with so you. It is very, it. and it's it's got like 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, so this is not just us uh, blowing smoke up people's ass. <laughs> I think I'm slurring also, hey, yeah. Uh, you know, um, it, it, it did very well in Rotten Tomatoes. And another thing that was such a joy, I've never had the experience of, because it's a comedy, I'm used to sitting in a quiet theater with a dramatic movie, and everyone's very, very quiet with what's going on, and you don't know what they're thinking. Right. It's a little paranoid, you know, you do, yeah. do they like my performance? People don't, don't laugh, they didn't but like it. Boy, when you're in a comedy, everyone's laughing, and the, the, the thrill of it, and the, the excitement, and the joy, it was fantastic. It's, I mean, it's more fun than being in a dramatic film. I, it, I liked it. You I liked it, it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations yeah, on that. Sure. It's great to have you here. Kyle Chandler, everybody, game night is out now. I am Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.